Hey everyone, it's Lisa from TRW and it's almost Christmas. Now what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to take this cute design from our website, this is from therhinestoneworld.com, and I opened it up in silhouette, cut and pressed it in like 10 minutes. So a really fun, easy project that you can do as like a last minute gift. Maybe you've got a gift exchange coming up or you wanna just give some cute little Christmas decor to someone you love. Really simple and we're gonna be doing this with the Silhouette Cameo 4. I'm here in Silhouette Studio. I already opened the file and I just want to show you what it's going to look like. So it comes separated by color, which makes it super easy. So realistically, all we have to do is cut. Now, one thing to note is that it always shows the original just so you can get a good perspective on, you know, how it looks. This is our rhinestone template. It's going to come right way up because we don't reverse it. And then our other colors are reversed. So this is our red. This is our black and this is our green. So I'm going to do a couple more adjustments, meaning um, I just need to alter some settings. I'm going to be cutting straight on my vinyl. I'm not going to use a cutting mat. So we're going to go over here to cutting mat. We're going to do none. And so you can see that's been moved over. So I'll just go ahead and start off with the first set. I grabbed the whole thing and I grouped it. So we're going to just bring this up here. This is our red, and I'm going to be cutting this on Easy Weed, um, specifically Easy Weed Electric, but that is the same cut settings. So we're going to go over here, go to our Send Panel, and then we are going to load it in. We're going to choose Easy Weed from my presets. Now, I do have videos on how to program your own. Check it out. But I'm just going to go ahead, cut the three colors of vinyl, and then um, we will kind of move on from there. All right, so all my cuts are done. Let's go ahead and start weeding. So this is Cadet Green. This is Caesar again. Now, um, I just went ahead and used the templates in there because I just want to cut and go. Uh, some people uh, sometimes will change the box around it because you see there's a decent amount of extra space here. But for me, you know, I just kind of factor it all into the cost of making it. I would rather just like click and go instead of, you know, adjusting it, changing the shape, all that fun stuff. So I'm just going to get all this. So that's the first one. So I'm just going to trim this off and I'm just going to continue the same process for the next two colors. all of my vinyl. Let's go ahead and grab our magic flock. You can see it weeded up perfectly. Make sure you test cut your settings. If your settings are done correctly, it should weed up just as easily as that. Alright, so I'm going to grab my workstation. This is just a chalkboard from Hobby Lobby. Really simple. It's just to kind of keep my stones in place. And we are going to be working with light topaz stones. They give a nice gold look. Now, if you don't want to do your rhinestones, especially because there aren't a whole lot in here, you can just go ahead and mirror that design and then end up cutting it with, like, uh, you know, gold glitter or whatever color you'd like. So, you know, don't feel like you have to do rhinestones, but I think it's going to look really nice with it. All right, so I poured more rhinestones than I think I need because they use each other to roll in. You can see just gentle touch. This part was not sped up. That's exactly how long it takes. And then since there isn't a whole lot, I'm just gonna go ahead and 
clean up these stones before I put my tape down just to have it done. So I'm just using my TRW scoop. And now I can just grab my bag of rhinestones, put the end in there, and now we're all good. So I'm move this out of the way, let me get my hot fix transfer tape and then we will pick it up. Alright, so here's my acrylic hot fix tape. Don't forget this is made for rhinestones, do not use the transfer tape you use for decals. All right, so I just cut a section off. So we're gonna put it right on top of there. So while I'm there, I'm just gonna cut this end off. Fill this up. And now when you put this down, you guys always hear me say it, you need to commit. So just drop it down and smooth it as you go. If you hesitate on this part, you may accidentally touch some of your stones, but not with the right tension, which means your design will be misaligned. So just be really careful with that. And then see how I lifted it up and there was no issue? Now if your stones don't come up with it, just drop your tape right back down, smooth it, and then you'll be able to pick it up. All right, so now we're ready to press. All right, so here is my pillow cover. This is like a, pretty much a white. It's almost like an off-white in a way. This is from Craft Chameleon, as you know. I love getting my blanks and my pillows from them. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of bringing my press down and pre-pressing. You know, this has been in the package, like in all my supplies. So I wanna make sure that I make it really easy for my vinyl to stick to it. So I am actually going to be using three different kinds of vinyl, uh, different styles of Easy Weed. So this first one, the black, is actually the matte black from uh, Caesar. So I'm actually going to turn this so I can see my placement a little bit better and then I'll put it back for you. So we have our pillow here, we're going to kind of put that right in the middle. Now when you do pillows, you know, don't fret too much that there's so much space next to it because don't forget, this goes on a pillow. So you're gonna have it kind of expanding to the sides to fit it. And especially if you're like me and you like to put really big inserts in there. So let's go ahead, bring this back over. Now because we're layering multiple colors and we're doing rhinestones, we're going to be doing short presses. Now easy we can stick after a second or two, but it's not going to stay. So we wanna make sure in the end, it gets enough dwell time pressure, but right now we just want it to stick down. So let's go ahead, bring this down, lift it. And because I'm also doing rhinestones, I'm doing 320 degrees. So I got a little buddy come up here. So let me go ahead and bring this down. This also might've just kind of gotten stuck when I was weeding it. So this looks like it flipped over. Not a big deal, it's a little spot. Like, perspectives, people. All right, so here is our red. That's upside down. And we're gonna line that up around there. So you wanna make sure we have about even spacing between everything. And the cool thing too, you know, just keep in mind that this is one of those like hand-drawn look things. So if it's a little misaligned or wonky in a couple places, not a big deal. Like that's the style. So this is electric in red. So again, just a second or two. So there's that. And now this is standard easy weed. This is in Cadet Green. So I'm gonna kinda bring this down. And this is kind of hot too. I'm just turning it so I can see a little bit better. This you know, won't be an issue for you guys. And you can also tug on whatever you're pressing to kind of get it to place a little bit better. 
you know, we're pressing on something that's like cotton, so sometimes it can shrink a little bit. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and press it this way while we go. So let me get my cover sheet. And again, just a second or two. And we have that. And now the last bit, this is our rhinestone part. Now don't forget, you know, we could just cut this in vinyl. Rhinestones are not necessary for this. It just looks cute. So we're just gonna line those up right where these spots are. And just make sure your uh, rhinestones are not on top of vinyl. Rhinestones can stick to vinyl, but they're not going to stay. So we're gonna do that. Now here's the tricky part. We don't wanna get this line through our vinyl. So we're gonna go ahead and do a few more seconds with the rhinestones. Rhinestones do need the proper time and uh, pressure. So we want to lift this very carefully because they may not be down all the way. See, look, a couple came up, which that happens. So we're just going to keep doing shorter presses until we can lift it and all of them will stay back. Because if we were to leave that entire time with that carrier, we would get this line through our vinyl and especially uh, since we are using easy weed vinyl, that would really show up. So we don't want that. All right, so there are our rhinestones. So I'm just gonna finish this out with about 10 more seconds to smooth it out, make sure everything's good, and then we're set. I think it looks pretty cute. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna throw a pillow in here and show you what it looks like. And that is the finished product, guys. Really, really cute. So again, I used uh, Caesar Easy Weed in matte black, uh, Caesar Easy Weed in uh, cadet green, and then this is the Caesar Electric in red with some light topaz rhinestones. Now, don't forget, this design is on the TRW website, and I showed you, basically, you can load it in and cut. So this is an awesome design that you can use to make really, really cute Christmas stuff quickly. All right, we're almost at Christmas time, so you can use this to make this bag here. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to us on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos.